Hello, and welcome to Jasper Active. Before we get started, it is important to note that Jasper Active supports Office 2016 Professional Plus semi-annual channel, or Office 365 Professional Plus version 1808 semi-annual channel. To identify which version you are currently running on your machine, carry out the following process. One, open up the Microsoft Word application. Two, select to open a blank document. Three, click File. Four, click Account towards the bottom of the left-hand side menu. And five, the next screen that appears will show you key information about the version of Office that is currently running on your computers. If in case you are not running the supported version of Office, please work with your IT department about implementing the supported version as highlighted just now onto your machines before proceeding to install Jasper Active. Also, Jasper Active for Office is a live in-application program and therefore it runs in the Microsoft Windows environment. For a complete list of the technical requirements for Jasper Active, please visit our support site at support.jasperactive.com or you can email us at help at jasperactive.com and we will provide you with the technical requirements. This video will help you get started if you are either a center administrator or a teacher or instructor for Jasper Active. We will be covering five quick steps you need to get started. Step one for center administrators only, where to find teacher activation codes. Step two, how teachers will create their Jasper Active accounts. Step three, how groups are created by teachers. Step four, how students will create their Jasper Active accounts. Step five, how to download and install Jasper Active. Step one, if you are a center administrator, you should have received an email from CCI Learning if your school only purchased Jasper Active or a fulfillment email from Pearson Certiport if the Jasper Active GMagix integration was purchased. This email would include your center administrator login information. You will be able to access, amongst other things, teacher activation codes for your teachers. A center administrator is usually the primary designated contact after an institution or school purchases Jasper Active. He, she is responsible for providing their teacher or teachers with their teacher activation codes so they can get started in administering Jasper Active to their students. To see your teacher activation code, log into Jasper Active by heading to www.jasperactive.com. Once logged in, proceed to click on the License Inventory option here. In the table on the next screen, locate the Teacher Activation Code under the column called Teacher Code. A nice way to identify it is that it usually starts with the letter T for Teacher. Proceed to copy it and forward it to your teachers. They will use it to create their teacher account. In case you may have not received your center administrator login information and you have purchased the Jasper Active GMatrix integration, please contact your Certiport representative who facilitated the purchase for you and your institution or school. In case you may have not received your center administrator login information and you have purchased Jasper Active only, please contact CCI Learning directly by emailing us at fulfillment at Learning. Com. Step 2. For teachers, to get started in using Jasper Active, 
you need to create your teacher account. You will have received your teacher activation code from your school's centre administrator. It will look like this. If you haven't received it yet, please contact your school's centre administrator. Once you have your teacher activation code, head to www.jasperactive.com and copy and paste or type in your activation code as is, including all capital letters, numbers and dashes, in the new user box here. Once you type in your teacher activation code, proceed to follow the instructions to create your account. If you already have a Jasper Active account, but it's not a teacher account, it may be a student account. Your centre administrator must promote your account to a teacher account. If your account is a demo account, however, please contact us directly to change it to a teacher account by emailing us at help at jasperactive.com. Step 3. Once your teacher account is set up, you will need to set up your class. If you have more than one class in your school, you need to create a group for each class. Head to www.jasperactive.com In the Teacher Panel page, proceed to click on the Groups Manager option. Click on the red Add New Group button. Proceed to select the group name of your choice. Usually, this is the name of your actual class or period. Next, select the drop-down list under the Current Licenses section and select the appropriate license. Proceed to select a start and finish date. You can also opt to add a description for your group, but it's not mandatory. At the bottom of the screen, select which course or courses you would like your class to work on. Once all is complete, click Save. Also, it's important to note that currently, the Jasper Active system will only allow teachers to select an end date that is before the actual expiry date of their license. Please do not select the expiry date of your license as your group's end date, as this may result in an error message appearing on screen. Before administering Jasper Active to your students, it would be beneficial for teachers who are using Jasper Active for the first time to create a group just for themselves so they can set up their own student account and practice using the program at their convenience. Here's how. After clicking Add New Group and typing in a group name, select a start and end date for your personal group. Check all the courses you wish to do and then click Save. Copy the group key of your personal group. Switch to the student mode of your account. Click on the red Activate a new course link. Paste in your group key and click Activate course. Your list of courses will then appear. Verify and then click the Confirm button at the bottom. Your courses will now be active and ready to be taken. The term and function of group keys and student activation codes are one and the same. It will not matter if teachers refer to one or the other as they both help students 1. Create their accounts and 2. Link them to a group. Step 4. Proceed to forward the group key that is auto-generated once your group is created to each of your students in your class. They will then create their own accounts by typing this group key in full, including all capitals and numbers and dashes, in the new user box at www.jasperactive.com. They can then proceed to follow the instructions to create their accounts. Step 5. Prior to your students starting a course in Jasper Active, you need to ensure that the Jasper Active program itself is downloaded and installed on all of your classroom PCs. You may need your school IT to assist you in this process. If there is no red circle J icon on the desktop like this, 
The program needs to be downloaded and installed. In the Teacher Panel page, proceed to click on the Circle J icon. On the next screen, click on the download link in the Complete Version column. Upon completion of the download and installation, prior to starting a course for the first time, Jasper Active will ask users if they have already installed the application. Click this red link to start your course if you have already done so. To check if it was installed successfully, simply locate the red circled Jasper Active icon on your desktop, like this. If you have any questions along the way as you start using Jasper Active, don't worry. You can always email us for assistance at help at jasperactive.com. Thanks for watching and welcome again to Jasper Active.